What's up, everybody? It's your girl, nothing but trouble. Talk twenty. I'm here today with a review. I'm gonna be reviewing the Basketball Wives episode that aired last night, July twenty fifth. Oh, I'm sorry. Basketball ex girlfriends, ex wives, ex fiancés, and Mika Claxton. <laughs> I have not been reviewing the Basketball Wives all season. But last night's episode was so juicy that I must come and share my comments. Um, let's talk preliminaries, pleasantries, things of that nature. There was a rift between Evelyn and Jen. Um, apparently, Jen made some comments about Chad, Ojo, uh, Dumbo, and um, Evelyn thought that she was being negative about their relationship and she just was not pleased with the way that Jen handled the situation. So she confronted Jen about it. Jen said she didn't see anything wrong with what she said because it was true. And, you know, Evelyn was all in her feelings and told her, you know, F you and our friendship will never be the same. And, you know, the violin started playing the, the timpani. Dum, 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 dum. And, you know, we were all left wondering whether or not Evelyn and Jen were going to reconcile their differences. So this week we pick up right where we left off with Evelyn and Jen. Um... Tammy and Shawnee and their peer mediating selves go ahead and bombard, really accost Evelyn and force her to speak to Jen, um, who uh, completely disappointed me. Well, not really disappointed me because, I, I mean, as cute as Jen is, and I don't really have any problems with her, but I will say that she is not the brightest crayon in the box. And the lack of... Um, I don't know, it just seems like there's nothing in between her ears, and that kind of annoys me. But I really was uh, side-eyeing the fact that, you know, all of her, I don't think I said anything wrong, completely changed to, I would never hurt you. Please, please be my friend. <laughs> all of those snotting and crying. It was just like, why is everybody so afraid of Evelyn? Like, what? Chad Ocho Dumbo had this a horrendous, heinous television show where he selected the girl of his dreams only to be with her for about seven days before he said he was over it. And um, he's only, I only feel like he's tolerating Evelyn because he wants some airtime on the basketball wives because if you watch the dynamics of their relationship, he treats her like hot yesterday's garbage. Just yet the garbage that was outside since uh, last Wednesday and that's been sitting in 114 degree weather, that's how he treats her. I'm not impressed. Um, you know, he'd go ahead and he bagged, he smashed uh, the first time they was in the same uh, the same state, and you know, he was over it. I feel like I don't think that this this engagement is going to last because you know, I just don't see it. But you know, anybody ask me. So yeah, they reconciled, snotting at the nose. Evelyn, all that rah 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 f you immediately changed into the I apologize. So you know. Snooze, snooze, boring, boring, okay, bye. Let's get to the juice, honey. I'm very excited for this episode because I feel like this is Mika's day of redemption. Um, no, excuse me, the day of reckoning for Miss Mika Claxton. I feel like when she came on the show, she started with the mess. Like, she was slanging mess and foolishness all over the place before she even got her foot in the door. She was the mess drug dealer. She was... I'm yo Kusha. I'm yo sorry. She was slinging all this mess and foolishness, and now she want to come back. And everybody has misconstrued what she said, and she's so misunderstood. And you know, everyone, everyone else has got it wrong. Ciao, Miss Tammy, Auntie Tammy, my homegirl, Miss Good Judy, Tammy, girl. You picked the right one, honey, because she is not here for you, and I think you know that. Now. Is anyone else troubled by the fact that? Tammy uh, drinks so much beer. Like, <laughs> like mm, everyone's ordering, you know, wine, champagne, and frou frou, girly, fabulous drinks. And Tammy, can I have a Bud Light? Girl, really? Yeah, I just thought that it was hilarious that uh, Tammy, she's a bully. <laughs> like we don't, we know you don't like Mika, and it is you have made it your mission to terrorize her. You know, you just don't want her to be comfortable. You can't even ignore her, but you you just are not satisfied unless you are just just raising hell. 
Let's talk about these obnoxious rings. So the big, huge earrings. I'd like to know what company sent the entire cast of Basketball Wives those big, huge, obnoxious earrings. Big, 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 big old earrings that you could probably stick your arm through, like all the way, all the way. Which company is responsible for sending each cast member a gift basket of these obnoxious rings? Someone in my timeline said it, that they must sell them at Dulce, Dolce, Dulce, whatever. Evelyn's store. Dulce. 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 Um, <laughs> that's my Telemundo voice. Dulce. Dulce. I, everyone. I've seen everybody but Shawnee and her flared nostrils wearing them. But you know, everyone's uh, entitled to their own styling selection. Susie is, she'll never learn. She's a donkey. He haw Susie. He haw. Like, girl. Have we learned nothing? Last year, you were Mika, and you were being berated by the belligerent Evelyn in public places, and you were not invited on the trip, and you were the outcast, and here you are getting ready to place Mika directly under the bus. She probably was trying to do so so that she'll keep herself out of the, the spotlight, but I think she might have shot a hole in the bottom of her boat because she's going down, honey. The mess. The mess. Um, it's a spiral. Mm -mm. Child, like, so. Tammy was feeling like she was going to try to make peace with, with Mika and tolerate her so that she could enjoy her vacation post-apology. But after Susie came with the tea, um, you know, it was decided that they were going to confront Mika again. So they show up at dinner. And my girl Tammy, this Bud Light spokeswoman, comes ready to fight. She's wearing flats. She's wearing pants. Her hair is pulled back in a ponytail. She is, has no earrings on. And she has come to address Mika and her relentless gum flapping. Just bop, 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 bop. Why are you still talking? Because Tammy and I are cut from that same cloth. I'm not as volatile as Tammy, but after a while, all this arguing and back and forth goes out of the I am of the I am of the belief that, you know, after a while, it's so much arguing that can be done, and you're just going to have to get some bones to click clacking across somebody's jaw, right? I don't argue. I just beat that with a box. You're going to have to shoot the fair one. You're going to have to throw hands. You're going to have to chin check. I just feel like, you know, at some point, and I, and I felt like Tammy had the same reaction. Like, Mika was just tired. She was tired of Mika's explanations, and she just mushed. And I was with that. You know, Mika got her track shifted, and she gathered herself, honey. She shot out of there. She got the hell out of Dodge um, and went back to the uh, hotel to immediately gather her things and um, write Shawnee this letter and, you know, get the fret flints on feet to and punch right back to these United States. Um, I think she should have left. Um, I think if she's scared of, of Tammy, then she should be. And, uh, you know, I could really do without her. Like, I could I could do without Mika. I think that her, the day of reckoning, when Mika came in, starting mess with Royce and trust and, and, you know, picking sides and trying to just, she did not approach the situation uh, as she should have. And, you know, it came back to bite her in her big, greasy face. Now, I could wind up, like, I could start off down the block and get a running start and wind up my fist and just knock Susie from here to Anchorage, Alaska. Like, she just, just drains my entire life. Always playing dumb. Always, like, I didn't know. Um, always doing some, always doing some mess she ain't got no business doing. And then when it comes back to her, it's always like, oh, I had no idea. It was not my intention. And then she want to act like, you know, rah, 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 I don't play that in the confessional. Ma'am. And I think that it won't be long before she and Royce get into it because Royce is real. She's tacky as all hell, but she is real. And um, I think it's only a matter of time before somebody uh, calls Susie out. And I'm looking forward to that. And if there's a sign-up sheet or a line I can wait in or something to... To punch Susie in her face and reel on that jaw. I would love that. I would love it. I, I'm telling you, get a wind up start. Just a wind. Just get. Ooh, okay. Leave your comments. Um, let me know how you're feeling about these good, messy basketball exes. 
and one wife. And um, it's good to do the TV review again. Perhaps I'll do next week's episode too. Um, I look forward to you reading your comments. And please subscribe if you haven't. Um, check out my previous videos. Y'all y'all know. Y'all 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 know what to do. Alright, so I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.